Question, are your emotions getting you closer to your financial goals? Or are they getting you farther away from them? In today's video from Jim Rohn, he discusses four emotions that can either help us or hinder us in our drive for financial success. The first one is disgust, disgust. Are we sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are we so just so disgusted with a situation that we actually are going to do something? Second one's decisiveness. Decision making can be emotional. That's why we get like stressed out when we're making them. So we can help, he can help us here in this video um, become, be, become better decision makers. The third one is desire desire. You have to want something. You have to be a desire inside of you. He says in a different video that um, the price is easy when the promise is clear. We have to have reasons behind why we're doing something. What is your why? The fourth one, the final emotion he discusses is resolve. In the video, he, re, he, he uh, defines resolve as making a promise to yourself that we won't quit or give up. And it's, it's one of those things, we call it grit often now. It's like, I'm just not going to quit. I will accomplish X, Y, Z. And, he, and, and they, then he wraps it all up with talking about action, that we have to have corresponding action to these emotions. So if you are a note taker, get them out. Quick video today, less than 10 minutes, but it's all gold from the master teacher, Jim Rohn. I hope this video is a blessing to you. Let me just quickly give you a list of four emotions that can change your life in one day. Emotions are powerful. Sometimes it doesn't take much to alter your whole life direction. Okay, here they are. Number one, disgust. Disgusting. Powerful emotion. Disgust says, I have had it. See, that could be the day. The day you can say, I've had it. And whether you've had it with something small or something major, the day you can say, I've had it, may not be the day it ends, but the day it begins. That's what I said when that little Girl Scout left my door when I'm 25. I give her the big lie. Liar. Liar. She leaves. I say, I don't want to live like this any more. I've had it with lying and being broke. The man's finally had it with mediocrity. He's had it with being a loser. He's finally had it with those awful sick feelings inside, knowing his wife is at the grocery store looking at two cans of beans, one mark 37 cents, one mark 39 cents, and the guy sick inside knows his wife's gonna buy the 37 cent can and she doesn't even like the brand. Do you know why she's gonna buy the 37 cent can? To save two cents. The guy sick inside finally says, I've had it. Being on my knees in the dust looking for pennies, we're not living like this any more. Could be the day that turns your life around. The day you can say, I've had it. He walks into his closet and rips everything in it to shreds and says, I've worn this embarrassing stuff for the last time. And not only will I never wear it again, no one else <laughs> will ever wear it again. Commit an act that says, I've had it. Powerful. Here's the next one, decision. You make a decision. And decision making is powerful. And it's emotional. That's those knots in the pit of your stomach, right? Waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, trying to decide. We sometimes call it inner civil war. What shall I do? Well, for progress, you must decide. The best advice I can give you came from a wealthy friend of mine who said, if it's easy, do it easy. If it's hard, do it hard. Just get it done. Let's get it done. If you went home tonight and in the next few days 
cleaned up a whole list of decisions. That might furnish enough inspiration for the next 10 years. I found this out many times after you've decided getting on with it is easier than deciding. Sometimes decision is the toughest part. Here's the next emotion, desire, wanting to bad enough. And I don't know how to tell you to want to. That's something you've got to come up with. There's two things I know about desire. Number one, it comes from inside, not outside. It was an inside job, bro. It had to be. You don't send off for it. Number two, I know desire can be triggered by something. Who knows what it might be? Sometimes desire waits and sleeps for something to happen. Maybe it's a book. Maybe it's a song. Maybe it's a sermon. Maybe it's a lecture, a seminar. Maybe it's the conversation of a friend, a happening, an event. Who knows? The best I can, advice I can give you is what I give my staff. It goes like this. Welcome every human experience. You never know which one is going to turn it all on. Even the bad experience. Sometimes from the bitterest experience comes the greatest awakening. So let down the barriers, take down the walls. But fear not the obstacles in your pain. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Let life touch you. Don't let it kill you, but let it touch you. Here's the last one. This one's powerful. Resolve. Resolve says I will. Two of the most powerful words in the language, I will. Benjamin Disraeli once said, nothing can resist a human will that will stake even its existence on the extent of its purpose. I don't quit. Shortly put, I'll do it or die. See, that's powerful. That could be the day that turns your life around. The world has a strange way of stepping aside when somebody says, I'll do it or die. <laughs> The man says, I will climb the mountain. They've told me it's too high, it's too far, it's too rocky, it's too difficult. It's never been done before, but it's my mountain, I will climb it. Pretty soon you'll see me waving from the top or dead on the side, because I ain't coming back. The best definition I ever got from the word resolve came from a little junior high girl in Foster City, California. I love to ask kids definitions. They come up with beauties. I got to the word resolve and I asked, who can tell me what resolve means? And I got several hands, and they were all pretty good, but the last one was the best. Little girl, about three rows back, held up her hand. She said, Mr. Rohn, Mr. Rohn, I think I know what resolve means. I said, darling, what do you think it means? She said, I think it means promising yourself you will never give up. I said, that's it. Webster, stand aside. That is the definition. Promise yourself you will never give up. I asked the kids, how long should the, a baby try to learn how to walk? How long? How long would you give your average baby before you shut him off? <laughs> how long? <laughs> See, any mother in the world would say, you're crazy. My baby's going to keep trying until it learns how to walk. What a magic formula. Now, let me show you what triggers all emotions into activity that brings results. And results is the name of the game. Here it is. Action. Finally, you must do something about how you feel. Jesus, the master teacher said, don't just be listeners, be doers. The world admires the doers. Wow, what a great message from Jim Rohn. Hope, hope this was a blessing to you and it's time for us to tighten up and refine our emotions and we could gain maximum max maximum <laughs> maximum financial impact from putting into action what he teaches so hopefully this is a blessing to you if it was please like subscribe and share and i will see you soon with a new video and until then i dare you to profit